Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to bring this video which was requested by a lot of you guys after I released my React Wilder version 6 um, video uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and basically what you guys requested is for me to make a video where I go over how to work with nested routes um, in the new React Router version. So a lot of updates were made to React Router. Um, I really liked the updates, but this specifically was one of the major ones because um, it makes um, creating nested routes a lot easier and a lot cleaner in my opinion. Now, in order to explain exactly what nested routes are and how to implement them in your project, I created this little demo over here, which um, it's just a simple website. If you want to check out the code for it, it's going to be in the description together with the code that we write for this tutorial. But basically, um, imagine you have a website where you, you have a navbar, right? And um, you have multiple routes, for example, the home page, the login page, and then some sort of page where inside of it, there's multiple different um, things you want to display. For example, in the products um, page, we have the products route, but then inside of the products route, we have other routes such as the search route where you see the page displays this little search bar. Then there's the um, list bar, uh, page, which basically um, just display like lists of products. Maybe you can add a, a, a add product page if you want to. Also, if you want to click on one of the products, you can go to a specific page which only displays the information of that specific product. Those are various different examples um, of situations where you need to use nested routes because um, in order to make this work, you will have to implement it in a, in a very concise way, in a very organized way, and React Router DOM provides you with that. So this is basically what we're going to be building. I'm just going to be focusing on the React Router aspect of it. I'm not going to be building the CSS and the, the whole like HTML for this. This is already done, but I'm going to use this as an example in order to explain it to you guys. So with that in mind, if you guys could leave a like for this video, it would help push my videos to more people and just help support the channel overall. So again, with that in mind, Let's get into the tutorial. So now that I show you guys a demo, um, let's get into the tutorial. Um, I have set up this little project over here, which again, the code will be in the description. However, it is a very simple project. I know there's a lot of a lot of lines of code, um, but basically it's just creating the routes for the, the project, right? We have the navbar over here with the three links that we have in the, in the navbar. Then we have all of our routes and um, all of the, their definitions. In this project, we also have a folder um, for components, um, the home and the login component, and also all of the different components that we have for the like the products, right? The list products, the product display um, like page and everything. Um, all of the logic for them, so everything inside of it, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually using fake data that I wrote over here um, for, for the products. Uh, again, you can just use them if you want to. That really doesn't matter for the point of the tutorial. What matters is the fact that if we go over here to our routes definition, you can see that if we wanted to like define the routes like we had over here, where you go to products, then you go to product slash search, then product slash um, list, like all of those things, you can see it's already looking weird. It's already looking different from what it was before because we I removed the implementation of nested routes in this project. So if we wanted to do something like this, we would have to define a different um, route for each of the different uh, specific routes that we want. So like um, for the product slash search, we'd have to create a separate route for this, then one for this, then one for this. And also um, the, the navigation menu that we have in the products page, like the slash products page, this one over here, it doesn't exist on the other ones. It only exists on this one, which is kind of weird because uh, we want to just have it in every single one of the pages. Um, so how exactly would we fix this and how exactly would we implement nested routes in this situation? Well, the way we do this is very, very simple. We have this route, uh, like the main route for, for the nested routes, like system for, in, in this case called the products route. And in the products route, instead of self closing like this, what we want to do is we want to actually, um, enclose and wrap all of this around with this route component. Then all of this um, routes inside of here are now uh, childs of the products route. And this means that we don't need to put products anymore over here. We can just put the name of the route and it will automatically know 
um, which route you're talking about. Then um, we have we now have all of this and you can see it still works perfectly. If I go to the list or to the um, let me see the search one, um, it seems to work right. It shows the, the little navigation system that we have on the products, but it doesn't show anything specific to that page, right? If we go to the search one, it doesn't show the search bar. The list one doesn't show the list and the ad one doesn't show the ad um, ad product um, thing, right? The reason for that is because if you want to display a specific thing for each of the routes, so a specific component for each of the routes, you need to go to the main component, which is the products one um, over here. And what you do is you add some sort of um, common uh, functionality or common UI for all the pages. And in this case, it is the little navigation here at the top or routes, right? We have the login, the home and the products route. And in the products route, we have a specific UI that we want to display for all of the different products routes. So in the search one, we still want to see this thing over here. For the list one, we also want to see this. And even if we go to a specific one, like a specific product, we also want to see all of this over here. The only thing that is changing in the page is whatever is below that, right? This thing over here. And this is exactly what the outlet component is. The outlet component will replace wh wherever you put it in the in your code. So we put it right below the nav bar, just so that the nav bar continues in the page, but the outlet, um, but whatever is below it changes. Um, and it will re be replaced with whichever um, component we defined over here. So in the list of products, the outlet component will be replaced with this if we are in the um, list route. So it will just keep replacing what that component with the other components that we defined based on the routes of the products. So if that's a bit confusing, don't worry. Um, I would literally just play around with it. But as you can see, um, now everything works perfectly. Um, you can even nest more and more um, uh, routes inside of other routes. For example, I have this ID route over here, which basically just displays the like one individual route um, that we, when we click on it, right? So if I actually made this into another route, I could add more routes inside of here. Um, and using the outlet would be the same thing, right? I would I would just put the outlet and change whatever I want. Now, I don't want to do this. Um, this was just an example, but it's just to point out all the different cool stuff that you can do with this. Now, this is something that isn't that complicated. Um, but a lot of people have difficulties with it in the beginning. I certainly did, especially with the changes with React Router DOM version 6. Um, however, as I mentioned, I would play around with it. And if you need more help and understand better React Router DOM, I do have a really, really nice video where I go over everything you need to know that is actually important. I, I skip all of the unnecessary stuff, um, only the things you will always use um, and with React Router DOM and I explain everything. Um, so if you want to check out, I'm going to um, tag it over here at the top and also put a link to it in the description. So this is a pretty short video. However, I really wanted to make this video just because a lot of you guys requested. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next and subscribe if you want to support the channel. With that in mind, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I see you guys next time.